The Ukrainian military is starting to demand the return of the former commander-in-chief of the Ukrainian armed forces, Zaluzny, who was sent into exile to Great Britain. This was reported by the Ukrainian TG channel Legitimate with reference to its own sources. It is noted that against the backdrop of failures in Donbass and the Kursk adventure, which is devouring the resources of the Ukrainian armed forces, Zaluzny's authority is growing by leaps and bounds, while the ratings of Zelensky and Sirsky are going down. As the source reported, the military directly blames Zelensky with his PR campaigns and his protege Alexander Sirsky, who is following the lead of the political authorities for all the failures. More and more military personnel are demanding that Zaluzny's team be returned to control of the army and that the office-based approach to the army's affairs be stopped, writes the channel. However, experts believe that Zelensky will under no circumstances return Zaluzny. Now the military is demanding that Zaluzny be returned to the post of commander-in-chief and then they can put him in the presidential chair. According to Valery Zaluzny, the world has finally begun to realize the importance of the war in Ukraine and it is not exclusively an internal problem of the country. His speech at the British think tank Chatham House elicited a significant response worldwide. Zaluzny noted that this means that the world is beginning to think about the war and hopes that it will lead to a ceasefire. He was also thankful for the support on the internet and for providing opinions regarding his speech. The general noted that he is satisfied with the reaction of the enemies as this indicates that they fear Ukraine. He also emphasized that the war against Russia requires a mathematical approach and a victory plan. Zaluzny added that he does not support the mobilization of young people aged 18 to 25, but views positively their role in saving the state if there is a threat to its existence. He is convinced that young people at this age can save the country through their different approaches and thinking.
South Korea's intelligence agency reports that North Korea plans to send a second group of military personnel to Russia, totaling up to 10,000 troops. Bloomberg, citing the intelligence agency, stated that the first group, made up of 1,500 elite special forces, is already training in the Russian Far East. Their transport to Vladivostok took place from October the 8th to the 13th. The report also points out that North Korea has sent a lot of weapons to Russia since August 2022. This includes about 8 million shells of 122mm and 152mm sizes, around 100 Hwasong-11 missiles and Bulse-4 anti-tank weapons. North Korean weapons have already been spotted on the battlefield in Ukraine, with South Korean officials noting that these figures are much higher than previous estimates from Europe. After about a month of training at military facilities in Vladivostok, Usurisk, Khabarovsk and Blagoveshchensk, North Korean troops are expected to be sent to the front lines in Ukraine. According to intelligence, Russia plans to provide them with weapons, uniforms and fake documents to disguise them as residents of Eastern Russia. In North Korea, it is believed that the deployment of soldiers to Russia for the war against Ukraine allegedly complies with international law. However, the fact of troop transfer is not explicitly confirmed there, states Kim Jong-gyu, vice foreign minister of the DPRK in charge of Russian affairs. According to Kim Jong-gyu, he drew attention to the rumors about the deployment of North Korean troops to Russia, which is recently drawing public attention in the world. He added that the Ministry of Foreign Affairs of North Korea does not handle matters related to the Ministry of Defense and does not feel the need to confirm it separately. If there is such a thing that the world media is talking about, I think it will be an act conforming with the regulations of international law. There will evidently exist forces that want to describe it as illegal, I think, the official stated. Russian President Vladimir Putin, in his comments on this situation, claimed that such actions are allegedly stipulated in the Comprehensive Strategic Partnership Agreement with North Korea.